Hey guys, it's Wowzers, and today I'm going to be showing you my DIY glam room makeover on a budget. If you're new here, which all of you guys are new here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I put a lot of work into this room and I'm super excited, like super excited to show you guys how I renovated my glam room and my walk-in closet. So without further ado, let's get it. So this is the room before any renovations are done. And I know it was jacked up. It was jacked up. We used it as a storage room when we moved in and there was just nothing ever done to it. The wallpaper is a bit outdated. Just a little outdated, maybe like, you know, 60, 70 years kind of outdated. It reminds me of my grandma or someone's grandma. Well, maybe not my grandma, but somebody's grandma. And then I'm also going to try to salvage this desk, which was left here. Um, and, you know, why get rid of a desk when you can redo it? There are two things I've learned when purchasing wallpaper and putting it up. One, when putting it up, you might want to have some help because there's a few times where I put the wallpaper up crooked and had to pull it and take it down and you're not really supposed to do that. It's a one, a one shot stop. You put the wallpaper up and it's on there. And two, make sure you measure the room when you buy, before you buy the wallpaper. Don't just assume, hey, if I get two rolls, I can probably do this entire room no, that you, you can't do the entire room with two rolls, maybe one wall. So I found that out once the wallpaper arrived that two was only going to cover one wall. I enjoyed this process so much doing this firewall and it's it was so easy all I did was took those green rectangles you can get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I cut them into five pieces thick enough to where the stem will stay in um, but thin enough to where I can get the most use out of one uh, rectangle those were a dollar. Then I'm also just pulling the flower heads off of the flower stem, putting a little hot glue on it and sticking them into the green. Now, if you don't wanna use hot glue, you don't have to. I just wanted the, uh, this wall to be reinforced because the flowers actually do stick into this foam by themselves. The wall all together, I probably spent about six hours all together over a span of three days to get everything in there. So the walls were extremely terrible underneath that wallpaper. I had to fill them in. And once I decided that wallpaper wasn't gonna work in the whole entire room, I decided to put a coat of gray on the rest of the remaining walls. This is where the clothing rods are going to be. I have one rod, I just hung it by myself. Uh, it's an adjustable telescoping closet bar from Target. Pretty cool. And so now this is my low bar. I'm going to try to hang the high bar. So I finally did both rods. Um, they're a little lopsided, but I think they'll do. And then I also put and two little closet lights. They're a bit dim, but they're the Energizer ones where you just tap them on. So I also did a DIY vanity. Vanities run kind of expensive, so I'm thinking, hey, let's make our own. Oh, snap. That's stuck on there real quick. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. So you want to get it the first time. These lights I got from Amazon for about $25. I already had the mirror, but I know you can probably get a mirror from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. When you put these on, just make sure you're aware it's a one-stop shop. And this is $25. Whoa! Oh my gosh. You just tap it. 
Yo, this is freaking lit. Here is my glam room. Come on in. First thing we have is this pink desk. It was a cream color and I just threw, I sanded it down and just threw some paint on it. And then also we have this beautiful vanity. It gets really bright, like super bright. It's, it's the only lighting we're using right now. We're not using anything else. Some nostalgia. Tell me you know what these candies are because I grew up on these. My grandma always had them. I got this painting for like $8. I thought it will add some more like different colors to the room because it's a lot of pink. So I'm thinking, hey, let me get something that's a little more multicolored, but then primarily like her shoes are pink. So I had to get this. It was a no brainer. These curtains I had since high school. So this is also another piece that brings nostalgia. I got this desk or this organizer for like 50 bucks at Target a purse slide and you know you store stuff in it this J though I found this J and I know it was wooden and it doesn't really match the theme but you know it's just a little something splash of wood that will add and this candle was like 15 bucks maybe 19 I never bought a candle expensive as this so it's barely getting used it's just for show this painting I got for $19.99, which I think is a bargain. It's small, but there's something about the frame of the glass that like sold me. And then the flowers also, cause this is a flower inspired room. So everything came from the flower wall. Like all of the ideas bounced off of this wall right here. I think I probably used about maybe 80 flowers or so to actually make the wall like you can go to Dollar Tree and get um, dollar flowers and they have like six or seven flowers on a one pack of flowers if that makes sense so I think I probably used about 80 maybe a little less and then the foam boards underneath of underneath it since I was chopping it in fives you know cut 80 divided by five 21. and if you haven't noticed I tried to make a J in here like a probably can't see it because it blends all together but there's definitely a J right here and the next thing we have is my beautiful unicorn light so I don't know why I love unicorns but it's not like a thing of mine but when I seen this I'm like I have to have this in this room because unicorns are just so rare and I guess I can think of myself as a rare beauty super cool feature that I got that would just set the mood you know some days, you know, I'm happy. Some days, I'm sad and moody and down. <laughs> JK. Uh, these lights, they change colors. So it has red, green, blue, pink, purple. It has a warm light and a cool light. I got this light for like 20 bucks at Target. But here's the thing though, it lasts for three years. And that's based on if you use it three hours a, bit a day, like seven days a week. And then if it breaks before then, you can return it <laughs> into the closet we go. So I have a very small closet because there's limited space. I have two racks and I just have all my jeans and stuff and dresses down here and then all my tops up top. And then I have a shoe rack full of most of my shoes. Not all of them, as you see, I'm missing a pair or two. <laughs> Don't judge me. And that is it. That is the tour of my glam room. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. So I had this on my things to do for about a half a year now to kind of turn this into something that I could really uh, connect with and just have my own space and thanks to quarantine i was actually able to get it done so down below in the comments please let me know something that you accomplished during quarantine from here on out pretty much my content is going to be geared more towards the natural hair community um, different product reviews different things you can find first tries and i will be trying to post my very hardest trying to post every week so be on the lookout for that kind of content. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell um, so you get notified every time I upload a video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at underscore wowzers. Bye.